It's Feedback Gaming, continuing our series with Alex, and we are ripping and tearing through the... I'm going to let you pronounce that. Uh, the Kaiserreich mod. No, the, the name of the faction we're destroying, the Middle Europa. Oh, Middle Europa, yeah, that's Middle, Euro Middle Europa. You hey. got that very good. Hey, I, I see, I, I did the accent, and it makes it sound a lot better than it actually is. Okay, so we're going to drop the speed. Oh, you've got control of the speed. Go on, yeah, whenever you're ready, bro. Oh, yeah, because I'm hosting. <laughs> so, the oh, power, dear, the power. overwhelming power. I'm going for another feminist in charge of my country, because why not? Um... <laughs> <laughs> so we swapped one lady for another. Does she look like the same? She looks exactly the same, so I'm assuming it's her sister. Um, yeah, well, let's just move along, shall we? Let's do it. Let's do it. Yep. Let's do it. And now we can try going to five speed and see how that works. Oh my god, we can actually do five speed. So just let everyone know, um, Alex lives in Norway and he has godlike internet. Absolute godlike internet, and it's uh, what well, it shows. <laughs> it shows. <laughs> yeah, Are you saying my internet's fat? Uh, it definitely looks like it, anyway. <laughs> it definitely looks that way. Anyway, I was going to go for Totalist, but I don't think that's going to be. Do you know what? I'm still going to try and go for Totalist, and we'll see if I can. Because it gives me the best buffs based on my national focus tree, so I'm probably going to continue that. So, yeah, Air Force. Apparently, the maximalist thing is the. Um... It's the spread the revolution to the whole world. The what is? The maximalist something. something. Well, the top one I've got, the, the, the most communist of communists, is the totalists. The Jacobins and the Solians. Solians? Okay, I have no idea. But apparently, uh, according to my commenters, um, syndicalists are no pacifists. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> Pacifist probably wasn't the right word I was thinking of. I was the, the word I was thinking of was more kind of anti-war, like a traditional kind of socialist view. Not necessarily hyper aggressive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I I do seem to recall this stems from like the origins of uh, the French Revolution. That the original socialists were anti-war, and that was based on they believe. Oh, you paused. Yeah, uh, give me land. Oh shit! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, also, it. my my offensive. I've I've battles going on all over the place, and I'm not really making the most of it. Yeah, that's no, cool. That's cool. Give control of state. Oh, when we're giving stuff back to Soviet Russia now. Because there are allies. There you go. We've liberated their new capital of Luga, the grand, glorious city of Luga. No disrespect to people who live in Luga these days, but I must say, I'm not intimately familiar with the location. Yeah, me neither. I mean, no. Every now and then, you know, like play one of these mods and the capital moves to a really weird location. And you're like, <laughs> Luga. What? Of yeah. course it's Luga. Why wouldn't it be Luga? Yeah. Yeah, when you're ready, I've sent you the oh. request. Oh, there you go. Where the hell is this? Oh, oh, nice. Mm. Uh, pretty Ooh. much where you're attacking into that was the idea. Junky. Uh, okay, let's. I'm gonna go with four, three speed just for a little while while we while yeah, I set up yeah. my production things. Yeah, sure. And such. Yeah, so as I was saying, while you're doing that, I'll talk. Um, yeah, so the, yeah, the original socialist that stemmed from like the French Revolution. Someone in the, by the comments can correct me if I'm wrong, but this is this is my interpretation: is that the oh, original socialists from the French Revolution, um, they they felt like war was kind of a a war of suppressing the poor, the workers. So the reason such a bourgeois concept. Isn't yeah, it? that's right. Yeah, I, 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 that's the biggest misconception. I think the the difference between communism and socialism, because m many com communist governments use the term socialist, people have bagged two terms into one haven't they and when they hear socialist they hear communists or communists they hear socialists but then if you kind of break them down and actually see the differences with the two which funnily enough i've been playing victoria 2 recently and uh they've done a really good job of like showing you what the differences between the two are which i thought are quite interesting the biggest difference is the military policy uh jango <laughs> is it jangoistic am i pronouncing that J right jangoistic i think yeah, yeah that that's that's what the communists are they're 
they're always believed that they're on the premises premises of war. You need, you need communism must be spread or it will die. But the I, socialist... I think jingoism is basically the idea that you need to spread your culture and your and your influence around mm. the world. So America is often accused of being jingoist today because they are very interventionalist in other people's wars and affairs. It's kind of a. It's almost like. It's not a word that a politician would ever use. It's kind of a swear word. It's just like like calling someone it's a fascist. Slur, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like you're calling yeah. someone a fascist, aren't you? Yeah. It's, it's very seldom considered a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very bizarre conversation if it's a compliment. Yeah, yeah. Although, I to be honest, some people on the YouTube seem to take fascist as a compliment. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, somebody started debating whether or not uh, national socialism is socialism. I'm, a, oh I'm not touching that debate God. with a ten foot rusty oh elbow. My God. <laughs> uh, no winners in that debate. Yeah, yeah. See what I mean? That, I think that's the biggest misconception is the fact. I always say this over and over again when I'm streaming on Twitch and people bring up a political conversation. Like, please, when you understand any political party can give themselves any name. And like, for instance, right now the French the French party that currently rules France is called the Socialist Party, but they're they're instigating lots of right wing reforms, lo taking away rights from the unions. And like, that's not socialist at all. It's just a name. It's just a name. <laughs> You're they're very peculiar socialists. If they're socialists. They, they are very weird. I, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. I went well, there. It's like I'm... the Labour Party in Norway is not particularly socialist either. Exactly. When it, when it comes yeah. down to it. In the UK too, that's they've had a drift to the centre as well. Yeah. 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 Norwegian Labour and and British Labour are very similar. To be honest with you, okay, are we cleaning up this mess now? Is yeah, I'm doing my best, I? Pockets, pockets, pockets. I, there's a bit of troops that are trapped. Can you clear those up for us? That'd be nice. In fact, I'll, I'll take care of my front, you take care of the ones you've got control over. Yeah, I, control is a uh, is an interesting term, I think. Yeah, just help my guy break out and he'll be all right. Right now, uh, we're decimating them on every single front. There's, I don't think they're going to hold this up. So look how many troops they've got. So Ukraine has 22 divisions. So inadvertently, I named this series uh, The World Revolution. I couldn't really... Yeah, think, I saw that. I couldn't think of a name for it. And I feel like it's relevant because all the... I don't know, the revolutions appearing around the world and us trying to fix them. Oh my god, what is going on in Italy? Time to use those. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the northern front and you take the southern front, okay? Yeah, that, well, that's the plan, eh? Yeah, that's the plan. You have, um... Uh, say again? Yeah, I was just about to say that the, the AI is doing something really annoying in Italy, but don't worry about it, because I, I, I said to myself I'd leave some reserves behind for this exact reason, and good job I did. <laughs> What's he doing in Italy? Yeah, I know. Oh! They're making a highway. They're on a highway to, well, hell when oh, I arrive. Oh, God! A highway to hell. Who is that? It's the Germans. The Germans? The Germans. <laughs> Protection from whom? <laughs> the Germans. And apparently, I've sunk two battleships. It's quite evident that you're hosting this game because I'm getting no CPU lag whatsoever. It is overwhelmingly smooth. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell it's your computer that's doing everything. Yeah, your probably. Is, uh, steering well, the ship. CPU usage is a 21% from OBS. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Oh, Soviet Russia is back. In a big way. It, it is. Might have been for a while. Oh, oh yeah. Completely. Oh, of course. So this, this mod, I think we talked about this in the previous episode, it has some weird issue where... I don't know, it seems to... You don't, don't get the capitalization, uh, capital, yeah, uh, yeah, capitulation events. Yeah, Alex, you were saying before that you noticed that before in another mod, but this is the very yep. first time I've seen this. I saw it in the Velkrag mod too, I think. Ah, right, yeah. It's a new one Which ironically me. has a similar concept to this. Okay, so what is this war called? Is it German-French war, I'm guessing? We are fighting the German-French war, yeah. 
There doesn't appear to be any major powers left. Why have we not got a war conference? Uh, Celion? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's Cylon uh, is is. Oh, uh, I maybe the East India Company yeah, has. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's gonna be a pain in the dick, isn't it? Yeah. Are they at war with anybody else? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Let's have a look. Uh, no. They are not. So getting over there is going to be a pain in the... Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking to what angle we can push in. So, as we talked about before, in this mod, we we are kind of a neutered France and Britain because we've lost all our colonies due to the First World War. Yep. So... Woe betide us. Yeah, that's right. We've been completely neutered. So in this circumstance, I think it might be a good idea to push into the new axis of the Middle East. I feel like this is almost like a George Bush term, you know, referring to the Middle East as the axis of evil. <laughs> the axis of evil. <laughs> oh my god, this is, this episode is so edgy. Oh, uh, we are, we're the jingoist Americans. <laughs> yeah, okay, jingoism, what? George Bush, axis of evil, definition of socialism. The what the hell is going on here? <laughs> Okay, um... New National Socialism! Yeah. Uh, oh okay, yeah, the so... definition of National Socialism! <laughs> Jeez, we've been through it all, damn! How many, how many, how many are we in so far? <laughs> <laughs> Such edge! I know! <laughs> okay, so let's look at our possibilities. I... I... We could either go... Through the Middle East... Sounds like... <laughs> A lot of work. No, that is a lot of work. I agree. I'm, look, I'm just like summarizing now what we could do. Oh, we could go through Siberia. Siberia is viable because it's only kind of one. And then again, we've still got to push through a lot of Chinese warlords, haven't we? Mm-hmm. And then, to be honest with you, that's more viable than trying to do some kind of amphibious landing. How strong is this state? It has 110 divisions. We're going to have to go through, through Siberia. Probably. Yeah. Go on. I want your point of view. Don't just don't. Accept uh, okay. I'm. I'm gonna pause it for a second. Um. We're in 1940, right? Uh, yeah. Get me better. Better things and such and upgrades and yes. Yeah. I'm. Uh, I'm pretty kitted out right now. I feel very relaxed. <laughs> I'm glad you're relaxing. Yeah. Um. I mean, I'm even making some aircraft carriers. I feel that good. I'm making interference. Oh interference. boy. Oh boy. Are you mocking <laughs> me, sir? Okay, so. No, if I were mocking. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna not merge those fleets up because those shit fleets are shit. Where's my proper fleet? There's my main fleet. What's up, bitches? Um, yeah, you go repair now. Okay, Siberia, you say? Um, yep. What do we? Where do we go from there? Though? Yeah, I guess we go through Siberia, and Mongolia, Markley. I guess then we push in through the Japanese sphere, the co, the co prosperity sphere. Right. The weeaboo sphere. <laughs> <laughs> the weeaboo. Okay, it's so like that or Mongolia and and the Markley. Yeah, I, and, and that's not happening because that infrastructure is horrific. So let's not do that. Okay, so we're gonna go to Manchuria. Yeah, let me declare war ninety days. I'll I'll make the justification. Mm, okay. There seems to be a Germany. so warlike France. There seems to be a Germany in the north of Russia. Have you noticed that? Yeah, I'm working on it. Oh, okay, okay. I, There's I, a Germany in the south of Russia too, near Stalingrad. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, little pocket. Yeah, okay. I, I, all right. I, what I want to say is that I don't really like to air my frustrations that often, but one thing I am going to say is my biggest frustration with this mod that makes it quite difficult to play is the fact that I have no leader portraits and they're all silhouettes. I find that overwhelmingly frustrating. Yeah, they, like, if you go to, um, uh, if you just play Austria or Germany, that's not a problem. Yeah. So, yeah. they're working on it, I think. Yeah, yeah. 
They, but I, I, I agree. Having no portraits is is the worst. It's literally the worst. You always kind of feel this overwhelming need to like click on them just to assign a guy, but you, oh no, I've already got a sign. <laughs> a guy assigned. Like oh, that's so annoying. Yep. So annoying. Yeah, guys, just remember this game is in beta. It is going to be fully released on the first of December, and uh, I would that's imagine not entirely accurate. It's it's an alpha, and it's going into open alpha. So it's I'm saying it's going to be fully released. Is pushing it a bit. I think. I don't think. Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna say. I was about to say. No, I was about to say that Alpha's kind of pushing it a little bit. Like, I don't yeah, know. I, I think I think they're either giving themselves some breathing room or they're bit being a bit too modest about it. To yeah. be honest, with you. but you know, it's whatever they want to call it. Sure, They've been sure. good enough to let let me let you and me have a copy each, so I'm very happy about that. Yeah, yeah, agreed. And man, do these guys have an active fan base. Yeah, apparently a lot of people keep telling me that Hearts of Iron 2 was its birth. Yep, and I don't think it was out for Hearts of Iron 3. Mm. At least, I, everybody refers to, to Hearts of Iron 2 when talking about it, so... And Heart of Darkness, I think. I don't have the numbers to say, but I'm, I'm starting to get this impression that Hearts of Iron 3 wasn't as popular as the others. I think... I think it's fair to say that um, Hearts of Iron 2 had its die-hard fans who refused to go to Hearts of Iron... Hearts of Iron 2 had its die-hard fans who refused to go to Hearts of Iron 3. I I was a die-hard fan of Hearts of Iron 1, and I didn't like Hearts of Iron 2, but I did like Hearts of Iron 3. Mm. I don't know what that says about anything, but it is what it is. I kind of... It's kind of weird how telling you how I found about Hearts of Iron. I was, I was like, looking for World War II games, and it, just, it almost, like, just fell into my hand, you know? It's a weird Yeah, I, I remember I was working as... I just started working as a teacher, and I was I was in a computer store looking at computer games, and I just saw the Hearts of Iron 1 books on a shelf. And I was like, well, that looks interesting. I look at the back and go, like, oh, this reminds me of the old board games I used to play. Yeah. And so I just bought it, and was very much overwhelmed it feels like to me like how i found it just felt less i don't feel felt more generic the way i because i just i literally put into google something like world war ii games and i was just <laughs> looking through lists of games and and the uh, uh oh shit research yep. i like the fact that we can just play at speed five and it's not an issue we have a war goal versus siberia uh, let's get our troops into position then we'll engage the biggest You're issue not even gonna... lagging behind at all. No, no, I'm not. Can we pause just for a sec? I want to put my troops on the front line. Sure. And again, not quite sure who is who. Yeah, I literally, that's what I searched for. I literally put that into Google. That that was my search to find Hearts of Iron. And, <laughs> um, yeah, what else was going to say? I don't know. Yeah, I guess... I guess um, and, oh, the first game that I found, it wasn't like I just found Hearts of Iron... Two first, I found a game called Axis First Allies. You ever heard of it? Apparently, I think that might be a board game to begin with. Axis and Allies, yeah. Yeah. It's a really famous board game from back in the... Oh, 80s. is it? And they made it into a computer game. It had awesome graphics, yep. but my God, it was I, so... I used to play that, I wouldn't say, it, of course, not professionally, but I used to play that like at tournaments, at, at gaming conventions and stuff like that. When I, when I was <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm, you're gonna hate me for this. I played it and I absolutely te detested it. Maybe it was the game, maybe the mechanics. I'm not sure, but I it's played, a board game. Yeah, it is. It felt like a board game. The graphics were so beautiful. All right, can, <laughs> we can play now. The graphics were so <laughs> beautiful, and I, I adored the way it looked. But the fact that, like, I don't know, like France was like two provinces or something like that. It's <laughs> one. I think. Is it one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, I found it so frustrating. It's, um, a, it's a grand strategy game in a very partic particular sense of the word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that was one of the first I found, and then obviously I migrated onto. Then it was on Hearts of Iron 2, and I thought Hearts of Iron 2 was so ugly, but I played it a little bit, I hated it, I played a little bit and hated it, and then I started to enjoy it a little bit. You know, like more you understood the game as such. Yeah. I, I like because one of my the first computer games I ever played was uh, Civilization One. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, I'm very much used to sort of having games, playing games that are, well, for basically ugly, um, and where you just imagine what's going on in place of all the all the sort of. Um, Counters. Yeah, counters. yeah. So. 
So but I you, understand how people who are more used to yeah, I, graphics I, are take offense I, to that. No, 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 that's totally cool because I, I, I did feel like when I first, when I first picked it up, I just, I don't know, it's, it, I feel that way with board games. I guess I always kind of feel like in a weird way that I was, I was born like at the exact right period in time because I was, <laughs> I was born just at the birth of the internet. I was born in like at the eighties. Well, yeah, I mean the internet wasn't fully a, a thing until like the early nineties, and that was just when I was growing up. I was in my like eight and nine and ten you know so i like got my first computer when the internet was just born so i like was just introduced to it just as it gave birth you know and uh and because of that everything was visual for me i never had i never had to rely on fun for my own kind of imagination as such i'm losing all my subs really where uh, random destroyer fleets oh right yeah Someone talked about it on the Paradox forum. They were saying that they counter too easily. Apparently, someone wasn't happy. I think I think they buffed. Um, I think they buffed uh, destroyers versus submarines quite significantly. Yeah, yeah. It used to be they could just run around and just put them on hunting mode and then be fine. The, I think the problem was is that people were making sub-only fleets and it was just too good. Yep. Apparently, apparently, a new patch that's going to come out with a new DLC is going to make some drastic changes to how Navy is going to work. They've not talked a lot about what specifics are going to be, but you know, they're hinting at that's what's going to happen. Yeah, when's the DLC coming? Do you know? So at the end, before the end of this year, so we've got one more month left. So Christmas. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I need to design some, 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 some cavalry. Yes, I do. Design cavalry. I need peacekeeping troops. Because we're obviously going to be at war for some time. Yeah. I'm just going to pause it while I do it because the game keeps lagging out. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine for you it's going to be... Uh, it's, yeah. it's so strange playing with this completely 100% smooth game. It's so strange. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad my computer can just keep up with it. Yeah. The next computer I'm building is definitely going to be an i7, okay? Um, okay, the Syndicate is seem to be struggling a little bit. So, if you're going to increase the amount of lend lease, you might want to do it now. Oh, shit! Yeah. Um, send lend lease. What do, you, what do you guys need? Here, have 10,000 rifles. That overwhelmed his ability to receive completely. And uh, other than that, you can have some some old heavy tanks, right? Yeah. There you go. Enjoy. Okay. Uh, unpause again? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, go for it, dude. Yeah, go for it. How's your Italian reconquest coming along? Uh, a little bit slow. Oh, no, we've already done it. <laughs> <laughs> The south. Well, the north of Italy is still. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. I've already took out their port, so they're gonna burn out anyway. So it's not a big deal. Oh, imagine life in Bologna now, huh? It is. It's gonna be a bit of a struggle, dodging bullets, dodging that sniper fire. Yeah. There goes the last of my subs. <laughs> really? Whereabouts? In the mid in the med. They're Wait. working on. They're working on. Um... Sinking transports in the Mediterranean. Actually, in the Aegean. That's not the Aegean. That's the. Let's see, is that. Uh, Adriatic, yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to ask for some land from the Soviets. Let me have a look at what the path of supply is. No, it's not that good. Okay, let's see if they'll give me some land. Yo, bruh. <laughs> give the land. Yeah, this is land with bad development, so I need to get off him as soon as I can. And he said no. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, five, four. Do I still have any 
Three! I've got three subs left. Woohoo! And they're in southern England. You know what, you guys? You can st sort of just... Go to port. Go to port and just stay there. So you don't need to. You, you've, you've done your due, due diligence and due, you know that. I'm still... Uh, did I... I got two carriers there. Uh, uh. I think I must have lost some carriers at some point because I feel like some of them are missing. I got four carriers in that one. Okay. So why don't you guys halt and then go search and destroy around Italy. And then... Nope, not the sub fleet. These two other fleets can get together right now in sweet harmony. And then you can go, I don't know. We don't really have range to anywhere particularly interesting, do we? Yeah, I think it might be a good idea to make a, a variant of a sub with like super range or something. Yeah, I'm gonna do that actually. I'm gonna make a variant of subs with like uber range. Engine to get more oh, range. Wow, yeah, I just ran into a main battle fleet. Holy balls. Seem to be doing okay now. I'm not even looking at what at what these different things are. I'm just picking them. What do you All mean? the decisions. Yeah. The, oh yeah, yeah. The one I've gone for is called World Revolution, and it reduces the cost for sending volunteers. It seems to be the the biggest one. And I've also boosted in um, socialism around the world as well to load of countries. Maybe that's gonna be our overall goal with this game. I've kind Did of you just declare war on Guinea? No, they declare war on us though. Oh, okay. <laughs> making making friends. <laughs> not making any friends here, you know. That's it. Well, I don't know. If you're not gonna be a friend, you might as well just. Uh, I don't know. Give Stick it up your arsenal. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. If you can't if you can't be a friend naturally, you can do it. Be my friend through force. Yep. I have a nice job title for it. It's called Puppet. Is Kingdom of Poland? What the hell are they? They're they're a puppet to something. They're Austria. Shit, have we left Austria in our back? Yeah, oh, that could be bad. What do you mean? I've got troops on their border. Oh, okay, good. I have very few troops in general. <laughs> we must end... The suppression of the people, we must liberate them from their foul aristocrats and monarchies. Are you with me, Alex? Yes. Are you with me, Alex? Yes, I, I hear you, Lord <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Lord? That's, how Dave, how sorry, dare sorry. you? How dare you? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> it, to the gulag. <laughs> Not the gulag! Anything but that. <laughs> what are we doing on time? Uh, oh, we're at exactly 29 minutes. Oh my, it's like I know. Guys, you've enjoyed this episode. Remember to like and to subscribe. And also, guys, if you want to drop us a comment how you feel this series is going, feel free. Hope you all have an awesome day, and I'll see you soon. Yep, cheers.